Alexa Trusler in the house. Join us to tell us the weather. Thank God. <laughs> last, last week is over. I know. It's the last week of summer. Can you believe it's here? Amen. I'm ready for it to be I was ready cold. for it to be. Yeah. Yes. I want that pumpkin spice latte and I want it to mean something. Have you had one yet? No, I wait till it's wait. cold. Okay. I don't like, you know, I know it comes out, but we in yeah. the South. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We get a delay. Yeah. yeah. I got to wait a little bit. I want to, I want to have a, a cozy sweater on. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I know. I, I feel like it gets cold for like two weeks here. Truly cold, right? No, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. 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 But it's good from like mid-October. Yes. So it's, it's nice. What, mid-April, and then it's like, all right, it's hot. Yeah, <laughs> and I don't like that. But well, yeah. today I walked to the car and I said, we made it. Yes. We did make it through the summer. Yes, we did, yeah. <laughs> and of course, we had the storm this yes, week, but I'm yes. glad it's That's behind over. us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And over the next 10 days, no worries when it comes to the tropics. That's so good to hear. We'll take that. <laughs> yes, yeah. I'm going to take it. Yeah, so what do we have for the last week of summer? Pretty standard summer forecast. Late summer heat, not incredibly hot, so that's good news. Temperatures should stay in the 80s every afternoon, maybe getting near 90 later in the week, but that's about it. We'll, we'll be able to handle that, I think. In the 70s right now, so it's a mild finish to our Sunday. It's beautiful right now. A gorgeous look over the city of New Orleans. The light looks great, or the lights look great over the bridge right now. It is beautiful. 78 degrees in New Orleans. We'll be quiet overnight tonight. Not much expected. We'll see just a few clouds lingering. Temperature staying in the 70s through tomorrow morning. Tomorrow, there is a chance for a few hit or miss showers and storms, but there will not be that many around and some of us may not see anything tomorrow morning. Here's a look at those morning lows. We'll probably see upper 60s, low 70s north of the lake, maybe mid 70s for the South Shore, some upper 70s closer to the coast. So a nice start to the morning it will be a little bit humid tomorrow and it will be seasonably warm temperatures tomorrow afternoon, mid to upper 80s. We'll see a mix of sunshine and clouds throughout the course of the day tomorrow, but there will be those hit or miss showers and storms and it looks like we could see maybe some steady and so soaking showers in a few spots but those steady showers will be really localized and short lived. So not expecting any big problems with these showers and storms tomorrow at all. Tomorrow for the heat index, not oppressive, not terrible. Our feels like temperatures tomorrow afternoon may creep into the lower 90s during the early middle afternoon time frame. So between two and four o'clock tomorrow in the afternoon could feel like 93, 94 degrees since it will be a bit humid. And today is officially one week until the fall season begins. So the fall equinox is next Sunday. So this is officially the last full week of summer. Finally, we made it. And luckily, we don't have to worry about anything major coming our way. We deserve this break. So we'll break down what you can expect in the upper levels of the atmosphere. We've got this trough that's just hanging out over the southeast. That is the reason why we'll see a few showers and storms tomorrow and Tuesday. A little bit of an unsettled kind of pattern hanging out over the next couple of days over the southeast. Also, you notice this low pressure that has developed off the Carolinas. That's actually PTC 8, and that's going to drift up to the northwest, and it's going to move into the mid-Atlantic region this week. So that's going to move away from us. We don't have to worry about that. What we look ahead to is some high pressure that will be building in from the west, and that will give us a drier pattern actually starting Wednesday into the second half of the week. So Wednesday through next weekend, expect really dry weather, a lot of sunshine, and that's when temperatures may get close to 90 degrees. So maybe a little bit warmer the second half of the week. Here's our chance of rain over the next week, keeping about a 30 to 40% chance tomorrow, so not bad. 20% Tuesday, 10% on Wednesday, and then I have no rain chances Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of next week. So make your weekend plans now. Next weekend really looks great. So precision cast overnight, we'll have a few passing clouds around. Tomorrow in the morning, we'll have one or two showers and storms maybe for our coastal spots. But I think tomorrow afternoon, that's when we'll have a few passing showers and storms really kicking off across the area. Maybe an isolated heavier shower, but it's not going to be for everyone and they won't last that long. But keep that in mind. You may see some rain as you're making your way throughout your Monday. If you're driving around, you may get stuck in a little shower throughout tomorrow. Tuesday, kind of the same deal into the afternoon. A couple scattered showers and storms around Tuesday. Hit or miss type during the afternoon and into the evening hours. And then once we get into Wednesday, that's when we see that kind of calmer, drier pattern settle in. Now, out in the tropics, two spots to watch. Gordon is out in the central Atlantic Ocean. It will stay there. It's not going to bring any impacts to any land areas. It will just fizzle out in the ocean during this week. And then PTC 8 will probably become our next named storm by tomorrow. This is the one off the coast of the Carolinas. This will probably get named Helene possibly tomorrow. And again, it will move into the mid-Atlantic. It will bring parts of the mid-Atlantic in the southeast, the rain, the wind, and the coastal flooding, but no tropical worries for us over the next 10 days. Here's our seven day two temperatures every day in the mid to upper 80s this week, but expect a few scattered showers and storms tomorrow.